Just last week former manager Louis Walsh claimed a comeback was on the cards to celebrate the band forming in 1998. But singer Mark Feehilly denied any knowledge of a planned reunion. Mark exclusively told me, people have offered us blank checks to get back together but it's not about money. There are no plans to reform. The time isn't now. We all have a lot more that we want to achieve first. It feels way too soon to be honest. But giving fans a hint of hope, Mark does believe the boys will dust off their famous stools to fly without wings again at some point. People have offered us blank checks to get back together but it's not about money Mark Feehilly he said, a 20th anniversary tour could still happen one day as 2019 is 20 years since we released our first single, while 2021 is 20 years since our first world tour? So you never know. Mark did agree with Louis on one thing though. That original band member Brian McFatton would not be included. He said, I think everyone thinks of Westlife as a four now. Brian left so long ago. Wire Image Westlife are one of the biggest groups in UK chart history. The Irish band had a record 14 number one singles and six number one albums before splitting in 2012. Mark added, things got so intense at the end of Westlife. We split up to protect our future. Even the best of friends will be tested by the end. If we didn't call it a day then I don't think there would have ever been a chance of any of us wanting to get back together in the future. Mark has just supported Mariah Carey's UK Christmas tour. His own solo Christmas album is out now. Dash. Ed Sheeran is so desperate for a Christmas number one he agreed to perform on last night's Strictly Come Dancing final at the last minute. The singer is obsessed with hitting the festive top spot and has resorted to releasing three different versions of his single Perfect, including duets with Beyonce and Andrea Bocelli, which controversially count as the same song. However, music experts are predicting Mariah's All I Want for Christmas or Wham! S Last Christmas could pip him to the post. My source said, Ed and his team are worried Mariah and Wham! are closing the gap. Doing Strictly was a last ditch attempt to make sure he wins the race. You can find out who wins on Friday, Vicky Patterson reckons Queen of the Jungle Georgia Toff Toffolo had an unfair advantage in winning I'm a Celeb. Reality TV stars have come out on top for the last three years. And 2015 champ Vicky said, it's no coincidence me, Scarlett Moffat and Toff, who all make our living being ourselves on TV, have won. Hand on heart, I do think it's an unfair advantage. We are used to reality TV and having cameras on us all the time. Popular tough beat soap star Jamie Lomas to win last Sunday. Vicky added, these sports stars, or former pop stars, are great but they lack the level of self-promotion we have. I'm not taking anything away from anyone because I think Scarlett and Toff deserve to win. And hopefully I did too. But what I will say is our reality TV backgrounds have stood us in good stead. Vicky is hosting new show Beach Body Sews which starts on Wednesday, January 17th on MTV. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.